Do you live in Sarasota? Specifically 34240. I've got your February monthly market update, so let's jump into it. 27 homes closed in February, so that is bang on with what happened last year. However, 11 of those were all cash, which is a large jump from last year. Actually, a 37.5% increase right there. Median sales price over 1 million, as well as the average median sales price is up substantially. I look at this number a little bit more because what this does is it takes the very low end homes that are selling and the exceptionally high end homes that are selling and clumps it all in together. So this is great data. Now, if you know me and you have been following me in regards to the statistics and how new construction really affects sales data for Sarasota County and Manatee County in general, here is case in point. Median percent of list price. This means how much was a home listed for and what did it sell for? 100%. I am going to tell you right now, especially based off median time to contract and median time to sell being zero days, every home that sold in February was a new construction home. Builders do not negotiate price and they don't enter anything into the MLS very quickly. Therefore, it was a fresh listing, fresh close based on the contract dates of that new construction sale. Not a single resale probably sold. I am gonna do another video on this just to confirm my thoughts, but I'm literally just going through the closed data we have. 34 pending sales. We should start seeing more and more closings um, over the next few months because there are more pendings and there's more inventory. It's getting competitive in the zip code. However, just remember you're competing with more than the new listings and the active inventory because of the builders, not all of their homes are on the MLS. We don't know exactly how much there are. And that leaves me to 3.4 month supply of inventory. That is up substantially from last year. However, we are still in a strong seller's market in Sarasota and specifically 34240. I will say, based on new construction numbers, the real tangible, I've got a front door, you can walk into a home, it's not a lot, it's not under construction. Month supply of inventory is less than that. So it is a seller's market, homes are selling quickly. However, it all comes down to price. Price, price, price. If your home is overpriced, it will sit on the market. Home sellers, if you are looking at selling your home, thinking about selling or you're on the market, what incentives are you giving to a buyer right now that equal what a new builder is doing? And that is why we see in February, the majority of the homes that sold, I'm gonna say all of them, were new construction. That's all I've got for this update. Again, I'll do another video on how new construction is diluting inventory and how it is affecting resale sales. So we'll see you very shortly in another video.